Hello, and welcome back to the Fate of Iberia. So, last time we basically dealt with some small things here and there. We got a new brooch, and we are setting ourselves up quite nicely for our next character. Um, we are currently absolutely fine on health. By absolutely fine, I mean we are incredibly fine, thanks to reinvigorating friendship giving us a huge health bonus, plus all of these countering any negative we could potentially get. So, right now we're kind of okay. But really, at some point soon, we want to be passing this along to our son so he can take over. I mean, he is 22 right now. This would be absolutely perfect timing to switch over, which allows us to switch our culture, gives us plenty of time as him. But, you know, we can't do that um, just because we don't have a particular method to do that. So what I think our plan is this time is we're going to raise up our troops. Hopefully none of our allies are going to call us into another war. And then we can maybe do some wars against someone like Asturias or something and just do some... Um, like border raids unless we have some other land we can take um we could potentially take this bit of land right here this land is in asturias by default right is this singular county which we currently control zero of right or we have one of four required counties to usurp it so we could take one more so if we took this one that would be quite nice that'd be a nice addition to our land i'm just see if we got anything else castile i think we're a lot closer to uh, Castile, we are two of four created, so we can't take any more Castilian land, but we could take this little bit of land off Asturias. That's maybe something to do. Uh, maybe do border raids to uh, get ourselves some extra money and things, but really right now, we're in a chill mode. We're in a chill and um, improve ourselves and our realm mode, which seems pretty good to me. We're also making 10 gold a month, which is very nice. You want to give me 50 gold? Sure. Um, we have to, you know, badmouth you, but 50 gold's nice. Royal Court level 4 is nice. Uh, mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tanker is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord. Paris's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and are fighting a scaring off the staff and guests. So we can say they're too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over dot, dot, dot. Um, so before they know it, I'm guessing is what it's meant to say. Something like that. Exp so we get Sponge Bandits, which gives us popular opinion. We get Dread, which we already have a lot of. And we get Martial Lifestyle Experience. Sounds great. We gain a little stress, but that's not a problem. We can throw them out, which we don't gain the stress for. But, you know, we get less of the other stuff. Or we get less uh, Martial Lifestyle. Or... We get generosity to mercenaries, which lowers their hiring cost. I think we choose the bottom option. I think this is the most sensible option. It also pushes our dread up to very good levels. Ooh, we just inherited some land. Now, we can hold on to it. I probably want to give it away so our inheritance isn't messed up. But I bet it came with a little bit of money. I didn't see it pop up there, but I think we're a little bit higher than we were. Why did I go into this menu? I was going to look for something. But it's completely gone. I was looking for our dread. Yeah, we're now at 77.5 uh, dread, which is... Pretty nice. Right. So we have a lower holding in Madrid. Um, how does that su affect our succession? You would get the lower holding. Wait, no. You would get this mosque. He oh, wait. Yes. Wait a second. You wouldn't get anything. Okay, that's fine. You would get it. Oh, because you're also getting Madrid. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, we'll hold on to it then. That, that makes a lot of sense to just hold on to this holding and, um, yeah, let it earn us a little bit extra money. That was a nice little uh, surprise. Somebody's trying to murder uh, Linda, who I think made her um, something, like one of our artifacts. Not overly worried about it, though. Schemer discovered. Not worried. Um, well... We will let the traitor be known to all. We'll reveal the scheme, which basically means it has no chance of succeeding. Propose an alliance. Asturias would like an alliance. Oh, that's that's a no from me, bud. That's definitely a no. Um, mainly because I was going to attack you. Oh, wait a second. You're Asturias the Duchy? Oh. Wait. Oh, wait. No, you're... Oh, you're, you're the brother of Asturias, but you have a Duchy. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care. Uh, like, I wasn't going to say yes either way. 
fact, I think I'm about to declare war on your brother. In a border raid. Not border raid. In a struggle clash. Yeah. Which will call in both of them. But I think that this is the right thing to do. So, so we have 9,000. I'm really only going to use 4,000 of that. I think we're fine. Let's declare war. Let's go. It's a little extra land. Seems good to me. Uh, anything in here we can call allies? I don't think we need to. I think we're set. Raise our troop. And we'll go for our half-brother and vassal. And send them off into this bit of land right there. Has our council all got powerful vassals on it? Yes. Cool. I just noticed that guy was a powerful vassal who wasn't on the council. So I thought I would just double check before I move forward. Right. Four months, we get the war goal. Then we should at least be able to see their troops. Like this one right here. And that will give us um, a place to attack for some battle war score. Martial lifestyle perk. Uh, we can get defender advantage and control territory. Seems great given what we're about to do. So let's do that. Because we're about to attack them in control territory. I think it might only be for us, but still. It's nice to have. Uh, we can ransom you for 50 gold. 100%. I'm going to do that. What's this? Uh, can imprison criminals. Okay, I thought it said children needed guardians. And I was like, do I need to do that? But I don't. That's fine. You, uh, I'm just going to recruit uh, and convert. I'm, I'm definitely looking to recruit a lot of people here. Oh, I can't um, recruit you, but I could convert you. That's fine. We'll do that. Right, send ourselves over this way. Oh, I guess I can see whether I get the plus five bonus when we attack, right? Assuming I'm not the commander. Yeah. Right. Do we get that plus five bonus for a defender territory? Hostility? Plus five? Okay. That's the only buff that's going into there. Yeah. So, no, we're not getting any extra bonus. We have, however, defeated their army. And I think we just caught, uh, captured their leader? No. we just That was just worth 50% war score. Okay. Um, you will not accept a demand conversion. I mean, I'm just going to kill you then. I'm forgiving. I'll release you, which loses dread. Um, I will gain a weak hook on you, and then that lets me leave. It lets you leave without me losing dread, and then I will enforce demands. Cool. Disband. This new bit of land is great. We have a new vassal, and no land should split off. We can ransom this person now. Wait, no. Wait a second. No. Oh, wait. It did let us do the ransom. Fantastic. I was like, wait a second. He's the guy I was going to let go for nothing. Um, let's do a quick check of these court uh, uh, positions while we're here. Just because we should potentially have new family members who can fill them. Like, yeah, my cousin could fill this. He's terrible, but like... That's, I don't care. That's fine. Antiquarian. My nephew can do it. Food taster. My, uh, wait, no. We don't want our son to do it because he might die. Now that I think about that. Uh, let's put in this person. He can be our master of the horse. Master of the hunt can also be, he could be our grandson, I suppose. The one that we um, educated. Let's mix it up. Royal architect. Um, that can be you. Uh, Seneschal. That can be my son. Hey, we're getting him little benefits here. This is going to give him salary. It's going to give him prestige, potentially, for some of them. Court poet. We don't have anyone. Musician. Nobody. Bodyguards. We have nobody. Personal champion. Could be our son. The problem is that wouldn't he have to fight for us? Well, only if I say so, I suppose. So, yeah, you can take my place in jewels. Um... Not that we're going to have any, if I do it right. Executioner, nobody. Artificer, nobody. Okay, that seems fine. Yeah. So, a couple of court positions now filled. Great. Uh, what's that one? Um, my alliance ended since they're no longer married or betrothed. Sure. A servant of Iblis. As I open my eyes in the dark, I'm immediately overwhelmed by an ominous feeling. Is somebody watching me? Are you ready to embrace the truth? You trying, you trying to make me a witch again? I say no. No witch. Uh, let's do this. A courtier scorned. Um, who are you? Oh, my wife? Well, this isn't a good idea, but hey, wife, you're, you're my jester now. 
We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Probably not good. Uh, you're no longer my chief quarry. You appear to be in jail. Okay. Well, it's not ideal. Um, I guess you're now in the position. You are better at it. Uh, how is my... Oh, control level is at 100 everywhere. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's head back to our council. Brain broke for where the council was. It's here. Third time's the charm. Uh, we get you to train commanders, which I guess would probably be okay. Chance of finding new commanders and knights. I don't really care about the army maintenance being lower. Yeah, let's maybe try and improve our knights. And a draw guards. I don't think we need that either. Uh, you're still increasing development in Toledo, which is fine. Uh, I don't need cultural acceptance or anything, because that'd be the wrong culture. Integrate titles. Don't think we need that either. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. Ooh, new thing. A knight's declaration. Um, are, are you in the ground? I think you are. Okay. Um, so Sven is proclaiming something to my wife. Okay. Oh, how such a beautiful countenance gleams. So perfectly pure that I come apart at the seams. The mere thought of her smile brings one to my face. Makes my heart flutter with remarkable pace. Is he reciting romantic poetry to my wife? I don't know. We could imprison him. Which we wouldn't get. We wouldn't like because we're forgiving. We could say get, get away from him. Uh, which would also cause us to have stress. And they would both dislike me. Or... Ah, courtly love. It's I let that wonderful poetry echo through the halls. I think we choose this one because it gets us court grandeur. He likes us for it. I mean, yeah, there's not going to be any children from this anyway. Yeah, I think we choose that and we take this. We're taking stress no matter what we do. Cool. So we gain the stress level. You know what I think we do? We don't convert to Catholicism. Whatever we do, I think we take rakish. Yeah. Even though Rakish isn't that good, um, I think it could potentially lead us to positions where we could die. <laughs> Which, you know, generally isn't a good thing, but, like, being just a little reckless is probably fine if we want uh, to die and, you know, play the next character. Right. Uh, you're now dead. He's taken over. Can I get an alliance with you now? No. I could claim your title, but I'm not going to. Uh, challenge to a board game. You want to play chess. Fascination gavel kind has been select has been done. Woo. Okay, let's slow down the game in case the pause doesn't work. Um, yeah, let's become friends. That's fine. So you want to play chess with me? This is my grandson. We should probably say yes. Um, so. Marshall counters learning. His marshal is terrible. His learning is terrible, so he can't counter intrigue. His intrigue is terrible. He can't counter martial. Compared to us, we're better at him at everything. Like, our worst stat is better than his best stat. Sure. It's, this seems fine. Yeah, let's go. Okay, um... He sat waiting with a competitive grimace, which I think is intrigue. Um, so, we hit him with a learning. Yeah. I've read entire manuals on chess. Okay. He's continuing with a simply pathetic gambit. And I foil my opponent. Based on the color, do we do learning again? I don't really understand. Could you ease up on the blatant cheating for a moment? Snarls my opponent. Learning. Um, I'm in the lead for now. I think it's doing the same thing. Learning. Um, I'm beating him handily. Uh, learning. We win. He went for the same thing each time, I think. I lost stress. That's fine. Um, so we'd say good game. I win the match against him due to sudden death. Uh, by dramatic lead over your opponent by being the defending player if there's no clear winner after round four. Oh, maybe I wasn't winning as much as I thought I was. How does it feel to lose, little man? Or I'd love to play again sometime. This would work, but I gain stress. Yeah, this is fine. 
Yeah. We're getting closer to getting a friendship. That works. Speed it up. New cultural fascination. I don't care. We're not going to play this culture. We might as well let the uh, AI choose. Um, okay, so this guy's drawing maps of my thing, which I think means somebody's trying to kill me. Uh, I'm more vigilant, but I could also throw him in my dungeon, which would cause a um, stress hit, which doesn't matter because we've had one in the last five years. But that would be fine. His opinion of me drops. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll just take the stress hit. First level just lowers fertility. Future levels start to actually do things like lower your health, but we're not quite there yet. The guy who's in my prison. Get 10 gold. Could lose dread. Could recruit him. Well, I could execute him. I would gain stress because I'm uh, forgiving. Sure, let's execute him. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to just raising our stress level. Uh, purchase truce. Who are you? Galicia, you'd want to purchase another truce? Alright. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, We should probably declare another war. Who are you at war with? Oh, it's internal. I see. You have no allies. We could potentially declare a war against you if we've got a good one. Like border raid. In gold equal to the development of the target county, which will decrease. Ah, uh, no. I don't want to border raid him. The reason I don't want to border raid him is because development would decrease, right? But he's my culture. So, or my culture I'm going to switch into. So if I border raid him and his development decreases, it's going to lower the tech speed. Yeah, so that's actually counterintuitive. Okay. Or like, it, it, it would be counterproductive. That's the better word to use there. Let me see if we've got anything else. So Al-Andalus. We could potentially declare a war for land because he's unlikely to get rid of the kingdom. That's an option. We do only have slightly more troops. We'd also have to spend money on mercenaries, but we could potentially struggle clash half of his land. <laughs> um, I mean, that is an option. He's probably not going to lose the kingdom. Um, If he does lose the kingdom, we should get a claim, right? We can check this. We can check this on us. No, we don't have a claim on anything. But none... Yeah, but our siblings have land, but we don't have a claim on any of it. Ah, I was I was just checking there, like, whether we might get a claim on other land. So you got a claim on... Oh, no, you got a claim on Badios. Which you didn't... F yeah, so they, he has claims on things. We don't have claims. But if the kingdom gets split, surely we'd both have claims. I don't know. I don't know why we don't have any claims. That's interesting. Maybe you only get claims if you're, like, not the primary heir? Not sure. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking border struggle could be good. Just take a ton of land. Yeah, I think I'm in. I think I've convinced myself. Uh, or, sorry, struggle clash. I mix these two together by calling it a border struggle, which is kind of odd. I could also do this, but I don't have a high enough level of prestige. We're about to hit there, but, you know, not quite there yet. Struggle clash. Although, if we do that, then we our land will definitely split. Let's do this. We should have high partition for the next character anyway. So even if this goes truly, like, you know, even if he does get rid of the kingdom, we have like, some time to fix it. Um, you have hired some mercenaries. That's expected. We're going to hire some mercenaries as well. Uh, wait, what's your army composition? Um... Camels, heavy infantry. What are camels? They're um, cavalry of some kind. Okay, they're special. Heavy infantry and then some pikemen and some uh, light infantry. Okay. Just in case we could get counters. I think the light infantry are probably best. Yeah, so if we can get these guys. Are you light infantry? You're light footmen. Yeah, you you'll probably be fine because you counter heavy infantry. Yeah, let's hire you. How many do I need to hire? Like, four. Wow, he went hard on it. Now, what do you counter? You counter skirmishers. We don't need skirmishers. We're actually spending a lot of money at this point to get one more. Could go for the bowmen, which we can afford. Hmm. Or we go a little bit more and then we're really good. I suppose pikemen would be good because it would counter camel cavalry. 
Yeah, I'll hire them. We'll probably make our money back by the end of the war. Could have called our allies in as well. I don't think we need to. Um, I think this guy's better. Yeah, I think he's better. Because he's going to get some bonuses, like uh, that lowers their defensive advantage, lowers our casualties. I think those are better bonuses than Holy War, because we're not in a Holy War, so it's not going to work. Wow, it said we were going to die? It thinks we'll lose a... a, a you think I, we will lose a fight? Really? It thinks we'll win this one, because they're not joining in. Um, where are you going now? If I attack in there, it thinks we'll win. They do have defending in a river crossing, though. There we go. Thinks it's going to be even, but we're going to win a little bit here. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. Thinks we're going to lose. Why? I mean, we did, but I guess these guys are just better. Yeah, and the heavy. I suppose the armored footmen are better. Like, look at what they have against us. Like, they're they're one. Like they're armored. Oh, these guys are not normal heavy infantry. Oh, they're better heavy infantry. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that would explain it. Well, that's annoying. Luckily, we use the guy who lowers f friendly casualties, which is nice. Let's hold court. Anybody got any money for me? Um, blah -de blah -de blah My lord, we have to tell you that many in your realm happy are intensely dissatisfied with the current tax regime. I will fail this if I try and diplomacy check it. Intrigue won't work. Um, okay, we can intimidate them potentially, or I will lower the taxes. Let's try and intimidate them. 8% chance of bad things. We did it, and we got more dread. My liege, my acquaintance seeks the honor of serving uh, in your retinue of Faris. Sure. I cannot cease, my lord. None of us can. Not till we collapse. Please help us. Oh, they've got the dancing plague. And to see delightful next. No. Um, we can contain it or bring out the leeches. Yeah, bring out the leeches. Sure. Nobody had money for us, apparently. Well, hopefully we can work our way south here. We should reinforce troops as we're going... Can you, like, go through our territory so you actually reinforce? What are you doing? Are we at max war score? No, because they're defending, so they don't have a max amount from the battles. Okay, challenge to a board game? This isn't really the time. Um, does it think we would win if we attack? Thinks we would die. Wow. Okay, uh, put in this guy. Thinks we're even. I guess the army commander I put in was kind of garbage. Let's wait a second. Stop asking me to play chess. I play one round of chess and they're like, hey, maybe you'd like some chess. No. no I don't really want to play chess right now. I appreciate the offer. Um, who saged this? That's just in a different war? Okay. <laughs> um... They are running away. I don't want to play chess. Can we please uh, make that event like the um, seduction event where if you say no, it means no? Right. No, I'm not gonna play chess. Uh, Court Jester did a good story. Uh, let's gain stress. Cool. Right, uh, I need more mercenaries. Can you get me more mercenaries? I don't know if that's even an option with me right now. New steward? This guy? Um, mercenaries. Hired by me. How about you? Cannot hire, because, okay, I have no money. Fair enough. Head here. Supply is fairly low and is going down. I could split in two, gain our supply up, and then we'll have a supply advantage. Yeah, sure. Let's get a supply advantage here. Merge up there. This is fine, I think. Children like guardians. You, my son. Wait, when did I get another son? Wait, no, I remember. That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Diplomacy. Um. Sure. That's fine. Just thought I'd check. You know what? I should call in my allies. It's a great point, Brain. Well made. Right. Um, negotiate alliances. Definitely. With Tunis? That seems like a large one. 
It's not really as large as I thought it would be. He's fairly large, though. Uh, alliance? Yeah, let's call our allies to war. This seems like a good idea. We're kind of at the point where we might need a little extra oomph to win. There we go. Right. Um, fight here, maybe? We might be able to win this before they break their siege. Okay, bunch of our allies are going to be coming over soon. Send some more requests that they join in. You cannot join in. Can't not be called in against your leisure um, ally. All right, wait. Are you in this war? Oh, they gained. A, they didn't have an alliance when I declared it, but they got one. Oh, that explains where they got some extra troops from. That's fine. I guess these are the ones I'm beating up now. Okay, we might lose the war, but we'll see. They should have taken war score as well, I think. Yeah, because we haven't seized any of their land. This is fine. We're going to win the battle. Which gives us a lot of war score back. Let's head here and start sieging. Four months. If they break... If they win the siege, they may head over to, uh, to us. Let's see. They're not. That's great. Andalusian advancements. Uh, made great stride in medical knowledge, but the polymath has been exiled from my acquaintance's court for a poem and a mistake and seeks new employment. I've learned much from the work of the ancients. I could use a new physician that replaces my physician, or I will send you back to him in chains. I gain dread. Let's choose that. Yeah, I already have a court physician, and they're probably my family, so I probably don't have to pay them. Being the most important thing. I'll call in Tunis. I'll call in you as well. Right, so we should now have a bunch of people on our side. Um, they're going to take a while to get here, but they should get here. Right, once we siege this, we will also get 18% war score. Because we sieged the war goal, which would be great. Sawed this, I'm off to the whorehouse. Let's go. Right, so our health is now poor. That's what we're after. 60 health poor, we're going to die. Wonderful. Continue the siege. Bunch of people in the war. Just let it go. Price of war. Um, so you've entered the room with a grave demeanor. My lord, our coffers are almost empty. Um, okay, all I have left is this crown. This crown and the duty to serve it well. But what good is a crown that shall be taken regardless upon my defeat? I reach out and touch its cold material. Gold. I know some unscrupulous merchants that be interested in it. Now, we don't actually have a crown. So instead, I do what I must. If we get the nickname the crownless, we gain stress. I'm not the only one with a crown. Your spouse will lose their crown. Or the crown is only coming off once I'm dead. Yeah, I'll get rid of the crown. That's fine. Oh, and it removes it from our uh, person as well. We now have money for the, for the war. Let's head over to the capital. And start sieging their capital. Three months left with our siege uh, units. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Finish the siege. Nice. Ton of war score. Now we're heading for them. Our allies will join in. It thinks we're win anyway, thanks to them uh, currently hemorrhaging troops due to having no supply. Our friend made us lose stress. How dare they? That's such a nice thing. But I didn't really want it. Keep chasing. We've died. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. What's this? I don't know. Right. We're dead. Um, so, uh, where are we? Malik Abd al-Rahman, the second of Babayoz, has left the transient house at the call of the true one at 61 years of age. He died of old age, a man of pleasant disposition. He will be remembered for his benevolent rule. Malik uh, Muhalab ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. We lose some titles, but we inherit Toledo and Najera to the Madrid goes to my brother which is fine he ruled for 26 years we are 26 years old the borders of faith he explains to me that faith is faltering due to his time spent wait a second no um somebody convert him back to um our religion there we go call a priest that's fine pause let's just start with one issue and go, go from there. 
Look, we need a spy master. Let's do spy master first. We need a spy master. You're going to be my spy master. You will like me enough, I think. Or, actually, you're better at it. Hmm. But you're not a powerful vassal. Yeah, you're going to be my spy master. You like me just enough. Steward. It's going to be you. Chancellor. Yes, it can be you, but you're not a powerful vassal. Yeah, okay. Marshal Sven. For just now. <laughs> right, uh, Sven, also organize my army. Wonderful. We have a wife who is pregnant. We're going to have um, heirs, potentially. We already have one heir. Alaska. Wonderful. That's great news. Where are we? This is not really that strong. Uh, here, we're down the stewardship path. So we have defensive measures, which increases our fort level and garrison size. Very nice. Um, I think potentially we go down here. Yeah, we can get levy reinforcement rate. This is great. Let's get some income as well while we're at it. I don't think we need the stewardship for um, land right now. Let's do that. So that'll help us. Negotiate an alliance with Prince Romero. My half-brother, definitely. Too few spouses. I think we have the right amount. Uh, we have Catalan mail. I don't really need it. We'll put, keep the fine flexible mail on. Let's go. So I'm trying to catch this army. Let's go here and go right in. Let's go speed. Uh, oh, wait. Where are they going? They're heading up here. Oh, wait. They're trying to follow my route. That's, they both moved based upon my route there. That's so funny. Yeah, okay, so that's not really going to fire. We have to hold court. Let's do that quickly. Um, I should like veal cutlet. Um, so, Allah, who I thought was a prisoner in my house, um, arrest, uh, on, who I thought was a prisoner in house arrest, somehow appears before my throne. Your Highness, surely the food served uh, to me in prison rooms is, far, is of far worse standard than you would serve to a respected guest. Who are you? You're a lowborn? Um, I'm going to dismiss you. Child of the court. Uh, this girl has been at Zayad's court with nobody to watch over her. Who are you? Are you of my dynasty? Yeah, okay. Uh, I will find her a home. Cool. Raised her court grandeur. Empty granaries. We can give you gold and we get a weak hook and get county investment. I'll grant you tax relief. For 10 years, 50% less taxes. I know just the right person for the job. We give him an official inspector. Okay. Or, I'm sure you can manage it on your own. We'll send an inspector over. You're no longer my antiquarian. Honestly, like, not a huge deal. Right, chase. Speed 4 is about the right... Sp How are you getting so far away from me? You're so fast. Negotiate an alliance. Is this an actual faction? Yeah, but you're not really strong. It, next month, that will stop being a strong faction. Keep chasing. They're not getting taking war score because we have some land down here, so we can spend as long as we like, in theory, in this war. I'd rather not. Honestly, I'd rather catch them at some point, but, you know. Head here. Cut them off. Come on. We're going to catch them. Oh, also merge my armies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that. Put in a better leader. Then attack. Keep going. We have allies who are joining constantly. Good. Which should allow us to win. You want to come give me stuff? Sure. Um, we won't lose opinion with them because we don't need to do that anymore. That's fine. A nose for profit. Um... I'm not going to pay you any money. I don't need to pay you money right now. We have won the battle, which is a huge amount of war score towards our side. It's 50% war score, which is great. We can defeat their army here. Let's go. Keep chasing them down. They got, how did they got an extra 2,000 troops from somewhere? I don't know. But let's go. Chase them. I have a son. Another one. Cool. I do need to change my capsule. Wait, can I do that while I'm at war? No. That's very annoying. Are we leading? No, that's fine. As long as we don't die, we're fine. If we die, we're in big trouble because my other... 
the other air will take over. Be annoying. Keep chasing. We should eventually catch them. We're not, but like we should eventually. Three mercenary companies are expiring. Can I extend them? I can. <sighs> How much money do they have left? Because their mercenary companies should also be expiring. They have some money left as well. I need to do all three. I can't extend anymore. That's annoying. Alright. Uh, well, we could chase into another thing to see, just suppose. We could try and defeat them there. Let's do that. Push our way into their territory. They're so quick! Why are they so quick? I don't really under... Like, what are they doing to make themselves so quick? At least we win a battle there. That's okay. Three months sieging. No, let's just siege their land. They, they'll come fight us eventually, I'm sure. 43 days left. Right. Head up this way. I wonder if they're going to lose some troops as well out of this. When their mercenary company expires. They know where I click. I mean, I know that it's AI, so they should, but it's very annoying when they move based upon where I click. Yeah, because it, it means that um, you, you can't um, like make any longer-term plans. Right. Liberty Faction's now larger. I'm not really worried about that. We don't need to change succession law. That was a good win. That was a solid win. Wait, who sieged this? You've sieged this. Wait, but isn't, isn't that your territory? No, occupied by me. Wait, so who sieged this one? Oh, right, my ally. Technically. Alright, go attack there. Let's go. We can ransom this person for 10 gold. I will take my 10 gold. I will also take any prisoners that can fight. A couple of recruits. Right, let's go. Send ourselves down there. Keep chasing. We're not going to die, despite what it says. Keep chasing. Our allies are going to win us the battle. They ran away. Keep chasing. Are we capped on war score? We are. Okay. So after this, we should go siege. But defeating their army... Oh, we captured somebody. Perfect. I was going to say defeating their army means that they can't come back and, you know... Um, like de-siege things and they can't like ba build a bigger army but because we captured somebody we can enforce demands and would you look at that all that territory is now mine oh fantastic and it's all actually mine like we control all of it which is going to increase our personal strength which is then turn going to make the faction less strong and it's great to see right you Maternal reproach. My mother has been getting more irritable. As I sit on my throne, contemplating the possible causes, the woman herself storms towards me just as she used to when I'd misbehaved as a child. Mul Halab, my son, you have got to do something about these mournful rags you call cloves. Don't you care what people think of you? So I can say, I, uh, okay, I'll move up to decent fashion. You cannot speak to me this way anymore. Perhaps you could give up your room for someone else. Degrade her. Um, have you considered devoting yourself to Allah? Send her off to be a monk. Okay. So you think you're better than my courtiers. Um, we could send her away. We could send her away to be a monk. This would be fine. I've sent her away to be a monk. Right. Get 50 gold for him. Wonderful. An alliance with you, which might stop you from being in a faction if you happen to be in a faction, if you were even my vassal to start with. You were not. Uh, let's try and get an alliance. Because all the clan vassals say, I want an alliance with you. So, maybe we should do that. Although, you know what we should maybe do? Now that I'm thinking about it. We should maybe end the episode there and do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.